One of the questions I often get asked is, hey, I've already had COVID-19. Why do I need a booster? And the answer is quite simple, because it helps to lessen the severity of COVID-19 if you get a reinfection. I recommend getting your booster today. Welcome, welcome to more art time with Kaisa. Oh, it's not showing the... <laughs> Wait, where did it go? Oh, there it is! There it is! Welcome, welcome, yeah! Hello, Kachiro, I see you. <laughs> I see you in your jabs. I do have ad block, But, uh, unfortunately, when you do a direct source, browser source, for media, it, it, it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't cut away the ads, unfortunately. Hi, Blue Dragon. Yeah, thank you for the cute kitties. Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. It is my Nya, though. I should probably turn that into like a sound effect thing, and you guys can just play it anytime you guys want. I'm, I'm gonna be playing scary games in uh, uh at um during Halloween, during the Halloween late night game time. So, maybe I should make one you guys can just play whenever. It'll be like a jump scare. <laughs> Asriel! Welcome, welcome, ya! Welcome, welcome! Yay! Dance, 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 dance. Uh, thank you for the contribution, Blue Dragon. The 16k contribution. Oh, more dancing emotes. Nice! <laughs> you missed me! Oh, welcome, welcome back, Asriel. Always good to see you. So what have I done here is I have gotten started. I basically use the same hair Except for these bangs here. I made them longer because I want longer ones <laughs> So I was like, you know, I'm gonna make myself a new new set and uh, But I kept the hair the same because I think that's really iconic for my model to have this hair I might change it up in the future but for now I kind of want to make it consistent because this is a Halloween update um, And the tail again, I'm not really gonna do much with it so there we go, there we go. I think the biggest change would probably be the way I rig things because um, I have found a way of rigging that I really like, which is uh, what I was doing with Layla's uh, model. If you guys were around to see me work on Layla's model, you'll notice I use a lot more, a um, lot less warp. And a lot more of just manipulating. <laughs> oh, Layla, there you are! Yeah, welcome, welcome! Thank you for the 6k cat Shiro to the Nya stream. Thank you, thank you, Nya. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so you guys were watching me rig up uh, Layla's model. You'll notice that, like, I have switched 
over to a method that relies less on the warping. Like warping is good for like turning things around, but and and just like changing the field of view of an object. But um, try. Oh, that works. <laughs> Could have just done that earlier. Uh, but yeah, it's um. It's a interesting way to make the movements and stuff, um, like the physics. Well, I guess you can also do physics using the warps. Warp? 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 Wait, is it warp or wrap? Ah, uh, to this day, I still don't know. <laughs> to this day... Keep it simple, hell yeah. We're gonna keep things simple, just the way we like it. We're not gonna complicate things. And take it easy. Just chill out, just chill out. Your graphic design teacher drilled that in your head. Yes! Mine did too. Like, if you can do things in less complicated fashion, then do it. It's like a really dark heart. Hang on. Oh, okay, let me go back a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. She lit one up in the middle of- Wow, Layla coming in with those stories, man. <laughs> coming in with that story. You did like her anyway? She's annoying and loud. Oh. Oh, you're talking about your neighbor. <laughs> I thought you were talking about your <laughs> your your um, graphic design teacher still. <laughs> but yeah, neighbors. Seriously, if you can't smoke, just don't do it. You know, it's not good for you anyways. Catch your ill. Why not make it complicated? Well, unless your whole point is to make it complicated, then I guess you can make it as complicated as you want, but if you're gonna put make more work for yourself, then understand that you got yourself into it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm, she sucked at teaching. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. My graphic teacher was brilliant in my opinion. I mean, there were some people in the school that were just like, her classes are too hard. Her classes just requires you to partic participate. Pay attention, hand in the work, and you're good. And some people still fail her class. I'm like, how? <laughs> like, I don't want to be judgy of anybody and their um, ability to learn, but like, she literally caters to people with learning disabilities. I guess cater's not the right word, but like, she takes time, her own time, not just the, the school time, to make sure that everyone can keep up. And so the only way that you could fail her class 
as if you just didn't attend a class. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> work well in her class? Probably. A lot of people do. In fact, a lot of people that attended her class weren't even into art. Not graphics art, not traditional art. The reason why they liked her so much was because she was just so good and accommodating. And like, she would literally bring her kids to work or with her if it meant it's easier on both her schedule and the people's- do you know what I mean? Like, like she takes steps to make sure that everyone is well accommodated for learning. I, I thought, and I thought that, that was just so good, you know? Like, that was just... Like, as a teacher, your goal is to make sure your students learn, and she made sure her students learn. And the only way you could fail her class is if you just did nothing. Or cheated. Like, if you stole someone else's work, man, oh man. <laughs> were they little kids? Uh, actually, they were like a few years younger than me at the time. And so when I was high school, so they were like in elementary school. I think one of them, I think her son was like very, very young. Yeah. But like, they were good kids. I was like, respect. Respect. Oh, this is ribbons. I do bat wings. This is uh, <laughs> that's awkward. <laughs> I was on the wrong layer, guys. I was on the wrong layer. Oh my lordy. Remember when your mom taught second and second graders? Your older sister and I were helped doing the pancake party. Oh! <laughs> yeah, kids are cute <laughs> when they're polite and they're just like, like the thing about kids is like they're just so fucking cocky. <laughs> Sorry, I need to drink some water. My throat went dry. Uh, you thought the booze jar? No, no, no. It's a cookie jar because you're all my cookies. My delicious, yummy cookies. Um... Kaisa having kids? Nah. Personally, I don't... I don't really like children. Um... My boyfriend and... I, I know my boyfriend wants kids. I'm just like, dude. You're, you're getting ahead of yourself there, buddy. You're getting way ahead of yourself there. He's like, someday I want to have kids. I'm like, do you really? Do you understand what it is to have children? <laughs> like, if you're going to chuck them at me after they're born, I I'm going to be pissed. You better not be like an absent father or some shit. <sighs> Stop teens. I know, right? Actually, I don't know if I want to. Like, in general... Raising children, whether you adopt them or you birth them yourself, is a lot of work. You know, it's a lot of responsibility. 
<laughs> oh fuck, did Photoshop just die on me because I'm talking about responsibility? <laughs> Photoshop, why? <laughs> Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh, Layla, you helped out around the house a lot, eh? Good, good, good. Life skills. Learning to... Honestly, in my opinion, cooking and cleaning is not something that should be... catered to just one... person of the relationship. It should be equally split! Oh my god. Oh my god. It didn't even remember. It didn't even remember my. My colors. Jesus Christ. I think at some point it. Yeah, it, it didn't. Okay, so the last save point that Photoshop remembered was like before I filled in everything. Thankfully, it wasn't like after this part because this part I was really, really happy with and it had like not saved to that point. I would be so upset. I'm gonna make it semi-transparent because... <sighs> now I'm going into... This territory. Robert told you he would punch a man who leaves it up to the woman. <laughs> and then you punch a woman who leaves it up to the man. <laughs> are, are the two just tag teaming every couple you guys see? <clears throat> like, I don't think there's anything wrong if like one party doesn't like to cook or can't cook. But if one party is being like very assertively dumb about it. <laughs> You guys know what I mean by certainly dumb? It's kind of like, you know those dude bros that are like, Mama's belong in the kitchen. Or some shit. Like, what they're tr what they're actually saying is they're incompetent and, un and uncaring. Sorry. They're not incompetent, because that's not a word. They're incompetent and incapable of providing for themselves. And they're trying to shift that blame onto the woman. And that's something I have a problem with. But if something like, Hey, we take turns, which is something like I think my boyfriend liked to do and, and I like to do because like I the first thing I did was like I I know you guys have seen some of my cookings on Twitter and I'm really really I was really really super excited to just show him like what it what is in real life, you know? My cooking in real life. My IRL cooking. Hey, what is this? Is this a dress part? No, is this the wing part? Guys, where did this come from? Do you remember? Oh, it is the wing part. Uh. There we go. There we go.
<laughs> you mean deadbeats and lazy. Yeah, don't be a deadbeat dad and don't be a deadbeat mom. <laughs> Contribute to your family, man. You made it. You might as well take care of it. <laughs> might as well take care of it. <laughs> uh, I'm a riot. <laughs> Do you guys find me funny too? Co comedy with Kaisa, everybody. <sighs> Come on in and I, I don't know. What would what would my comedy style even be? Because there's styles to comedy, right? What would mine even be, you guys? Like, what would I even joke about? Like, life? <laughs> would I joke about life the most? Do the same with this layer. Two bat wings, and this group is the heart. As you can see, I'm adding stuff to my character. The boobies will always be large. Though I, I'm thinking making them smaller though, like that looks a bit ridiculous actually. We'll see, we'll see. Like, ugh, the final product is not until... Uh, we get into, um... Uh, Live 2D. Japanese straight man in full routine. <laughs> oh, Tsukomi and Boke. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Uh...
I don't know if I would be good at it though. I feel like you're expecting a lot from me. <laughs> uh... Actually, I want to make a shine thing that goes through heart. Actually, technically, we're supposed to go into that, like, at the very, very end, but I just wanted to see it, you know? <laughs> I just want to see it happen. <laughs> that is a very large brush. There we go. Shiny. <laughs> I know, right? Still get comments on how good your avatar looks. Nice! That makes me very happy. Um, and I appreciate <laughs> you giving me the credit. Um, apparently, I don't know if this is very common. Like, I didn't used to worry about this, but. I saw on Twitter that like apparently like there was some drama that went down where um this artist made something for his friend and like they passive aggressively because they were like fighting at the time or something like left them out of the credits <laughs> and when he called him out on it she was like Fine. Puts his name in the credits and then <laughs> in brackets blocked. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause you're fighting with someone, they don't deserve the credit for the work they did. What? I mean, either use it or don't use it. You know, it's not the end of the world if you don't use someone's art, but if you are gonna use it, 
Make sure you give credit where credit is due. <laughs> I actually got into a fight with a friend of mine recently about that. Like, disclaimer, they're not an artist. Um, but they dabble in art. And so they're like, oh, I like to do things for free with no credit. I don't mind when other people get credit. And I'm just like, great. Th that for you though, but like for people, other people, they don't they, they they don't have to be that way. And he's like, well, if mon money's not the reason, then you're just chasing clout. Like you're just <laughs> you're doing for clout. I'm like, dude, what the fuck. <laughs> oh, you may have paid for it, but the art is still Kaisa's. <gasps> Yes! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging it! Thank you so much. I very greatly appreciate it. Especially with the week I just had. Jesus Christ. <sighs> you just have a share. That you do. That you do. You did commission me. And that started on the path of its creation. <laughs> Give credit what credit is due is definitely something that I live by, and it doesn't bother me so much that they don't mind not getting credit as the fact that they think it's okay not to give other people credit. Like I don't care what you do with your own art, <laughs> but if you if you if you if you are using someone else's artwork, you gotta give the credit, man. You gotta give the credit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so thankful that I met like Night Raven and Azriel and Layla who like not only understand but appreciates these things and it makes me it makes me so happy and feel so fortunate. I feel like the neck's a little long. <laughs> yeah, let me move the head down. What? Shoulder. Your main theme is proclaimed by SLOBS members. <laughs> so the rest, friends. Yeah. You have a credit list. Yes! I did see it. I saw my name on there. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> I am friends. Plural. Kaisa is more than one. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the bell. Oh my goodness. I literally have like three bells on my on my head and one on my neck. I better not forget this new bell. <laughs> there are several Kaisos on Twitch. That is true. I am Kaiso Solstice. Don't you ever mistake me. It does jiggle my nerves sometimes. Think about how Riot stole my name. I have property rights to this name.
Ta-da! And this is how you make a perfect circle. <laughs> Not really. It's just you make it sure it's symmetrical. Now I can seem to fill out certain parts. <laughs> Kaisel Solstice. Trademark. <laughs> yeah. Trademark this name. No one else can ever have the name Kaisa. No, I'm kidding. I mean, Kaisa Solstice is a uh, original technically quotation mark because it's like Solstice, like Winter Solstice, but like with a Y because someone else took Solstice with an I. <laughs> it's a combination of like different names, actually. Twitter user being Leela Zone. <gasps> Wait. It's taken on Twitch Leela Zone? Leela Game Zone? Oh, that's weird. You think, like, if it's taken on Twitter, it wouldn't be taken on Twitch? Because Twitch is, like, very largely game gamer esque, right? Like, even though I do art on here, I have to say art community is a lot less here than say deviant art. But then again, which other streaming service exists that allows as much freedom as Twitch does? Very little. I think that's why Twitch is so popular or was actually. I should say was because Bezos, since Bezos took over. <laughs> oh my god, talk about Bezos. Um <laughs> Sorry, speaking of Bezos, do you, have you guys heard of the new um, Lord of the Ring remake? Or not remake, um, it's a series that just came out. And for the most part, 
like <sighs> it's not as it's like if someone took Token's work and very very lightly wrote a fanfic about it and while I do appreciate fanfiction, having read fanfiction ever since I was a child and into adulthood, I don't think using um because this is a prequel, right? So the prequel has to lead up to the original or quotation mark original trilogy or actually even the hobbits actually the hobbits came before <laughs> the original trilogy so if you're doing that it's very risky to start throwing in new stuff in there <laughs> whereas if they were to do a sequel and put this in i feel like this would be better as a sequel than is a prequel <laughs> rings up power they say who cares token is dead and so is his son <gasps> his son is dead too oh my god i didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> yeah, I think it's just, um, Bezos wanting a new, new thing. I am, however, very sad to hear that a lot of criticism apparently was centered around race? Like, black elves should not be a controversy. <laughs> or Asian elves, or whatever, because, like... If you want to get really down to it and say that Token's work is based on medieval Europe, Asians and black people were in medieval Europe too. Like, we we weren't originated there, but they, they existed in medieval times. Like, I think I think the conception that a lot of people have in their mind is medieval is like really, really far back here, which is true. But if you look at the entire history of humanity and compare it with other civilizations, medieval Europe isn't as far back do you know what i mean but yeah anyways uh it's great that they have made this series um i have to say i'm not as impressed by it compared to like the hobbits um I like the casting though. If there's one thing I liked about it, it's the casting and the atmosphere. I know there's a lot of controversy about like, oh, oh, but but this character was supposed to be this and this. Like, unless a character has already been established in the previous series or previous existing series as being whose appearance looks like this, like this way, like X and Y, it really doesn't matter. If they're a new character on screen, they're a new character on screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <sighs> I feel like the first Hobbits are even bothered with the rest. <laughs> Rather, your mother complains so much that I- Oh no! Spoilers! <laughs> I'm sorry I was spoiled for you, Layla. I'm sorry that happened. Excuse me. Yeah, I hate the fandom fan base for Lord of the Rings. Why? Just ruin the experience. 
Mommy spoil you more, Kachiro? <laughs> Aww, do you want me to feed you cookies? You want to feed you cookies, cat? <laughs> so what do you want me to do, hmm? <laughs> <clears throat> Give you three dollar cookies. Uh, how? How? What? Three dollars per cookie? You paid three dollars for a cookie? What? <laughs> yeah, dude, don't pay three dollars. How? What kind of cookie is this that cost you three dollars? I'm sorry, okay, I was trying to read Layla's comment, but then I saw that and I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, it's a pack of cookies. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought, I was like, you paid three dollars for one cookie? Like, are you insane? How badly inflated is American dollars right now? <laughs> god, that's hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was too funny. Let's do the skirt, you guys. Let's do the skirt. Hogan's <laughs> son hated how his fathers were represented in the movies, and people rated him for it, so when he died, they said he could rot in hell. Dude, it's a movie. Chill. <laughs> Chill out. My goodness. Works of art are great, but lives should not be <laughs> over it, you know what I mean? His dad's were kind of Hollywood lies. Yeah. I mean, he technically didn't he have like the rights to it? Like, didn't Token technically have the. Um, his son technically had the rights to it? Wait, didn't they sell that right to Hollywood though? Don't get me wrong, I do like the movies. I love the movies, in fact. Like, I grew up watching them.
movies are great like you said it's the fan base that disappoint you yeah i don't know like the fan base is large and there will always be really shitty people in it like in any fandom so a while ago i don't know if you guys watch voltron um it was a very popular tv show and um Everyone was like <laughs> up in arms about shipping who with who and shipping used to be fun like back in my old day <laughs> back in my old day <laughs> but yeah back in my old day back in my old day days of old um shipping literally is just Oh hey, I like these two characters. That's cool. I'm gonna write a story about it. Oh hey, you're writing a story about it? Oh cool, let's share some stories. You know what I mean? And nowadays it's kind of just like... I think people are building cults around it and I'm just like... This is no longer fun. And so I don't really engage in fandom anymore these days. It's because uh, it's kind of been spoiled. I kind of blame mainstream for that though. One good thing about mainstream... Um, getting the tan the getting the attention of mainstream is that a, a wider audience set is exposed to what you like, and they may also like the same thing you do, and new ideas can be generated. But the terrible thing about mainstream and the public getting hold of things is fucking people ruin shit, man. People ruin shit for everybody. Twilight started the ship cult. I think it was started way before then, actually. Um, they definitely did start up or popularize at least the whole Team Jacob versus Team. What was his name? Um, Ed Ed Edward. Team Team Edward and Team Tre er Fuck! The vampire and the werewolf. It was like Team Werewolf versus Team Vampire, which is something that's been around since the Dark Ages, but I think Twilight basically popularized being batshit insane about something, and I'm like, it used to be fun. This used to be fun, and it's not fun anymore, but oh uh, well. What do I know? I just- I just draw. You know, I just draw. I'm just- I'm just a little artist. What do I know, right? I'm just a part- I'm just a small time streamer. You know? Oops. I'm just a small time streamer doing streamer stuff. You know? Doing streamer things.
<laughs> Hi, Blue Dragon. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. You just died inside. Wait, what? What happened? Leila, Leila, don't make light of this situation. <laughs> what happened? Oh my god. Blue Dragon. <laughs> What happened? Oi! present tense <laughs> no for reals um uh, uh all fun jokes aside are you okay there blue dragon should i be worried And now I'm not getting response from Blue Dragon, I'm getting worried. <laughs> I hope everything's okay on your end, Blue Dragon. Um, if not, you can share with us if you want. If you want to keep it private, it's up to you. It's your life. You are decision maker. The ultimate decision maker for your life. So, um, best of luck to you. Whatever it is that's that you're struggling with. You're sorry. No, 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 no. I, I was joking too, Layla. No, I was joking as well, Layla. I was joking with you. It was banter. Sorry, sorry. Now we're both apologizing. <gasps> Layla, have you become Canadian as well? <laughs> we're both Canadian. <laughs> I mean, I'm Canadian. We are Asian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That works too. That works too. I'm a, I'm a Canadian Asian. Oh boy, double for me. Double for me. apologize for existing yeah i have heard of that stereotype and I'm, i don't know how um accurate or inaccurate that is so <laughs> i don't know layla maybe you can shed some light on it for us <laughs> Youth have become degenerates, though. Oh no, what's happening? What has displeased Layla Game Zone?
<laughs> Not all, just some, but it's getting more common. Oh. Can you give me some examples there, Layla? I'm sorry you feel that way about today's youth. <laughs> Should we get out our rocking chairs, Layla? <laughs> the youth today disrespecting the elders. <laughs> Shall we get our rocking chair, hmm? Scroll upwards. Okay. <sighs> They're getting disrespectful and uncaring. Hmm. But, 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 but like, but like, like what? Like examples of uncaring and disrespectful. Cause I can't, that's a whole, that's a whole spectrum of items. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's a whole list of what can be considered disrespectful or... Um, or sometimes just... Youth exploring their options in life, you know? Like, I remember when I was young, I don't have all my head together. Um, and that's true for every generation. Uh, not just the current generation, the current youth. Current generation of youth. Is what I meant to say. I am hungry and I have not eaten lunch. Ah, <laughs> uh, why do I starve myself this way? <sighs> Don't be like me, you guys. Be better than me. Eat food. Eat healthy, good food. Yum, yum, yum. Num, 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 num. All the time. As always, food is life. Food is great. I don't really need to do the back part like this because you won't see the back, but I would know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I would know. Like that's a little too light, but I'm gonna do this. Take black. I forgot to do this. <laughs> One very important thing. You just do merge this down. And then do this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now I have to do it again, guys. I have to do it again. I had a gas leak at work and this king was like, it's not that serious.
Oof. Yeah, the thing is, that's not new. <laughs> I've heard stories like that in my youth as well. Um, and it's really, really unfortunate. Like, adults really need to pay more closer attention to what the kids are doing. Is how I feel about the situation. Because children are... Don't take this the wrong way, but you can't really hold a child responsible for something. Um, not because I don't think children should not be responsible, but because at that time, <laughs> at that age, they literally, their brains literally don't function all that good. <laughs> Note with the parents, they ought to be teaching them. Yeah, I agree with you. As for that girl in your work, I think they just don't understand, like, there's no, um... There's nothing for her to compare the severity to. Like, she doesn't quite understand how severe a gas leak is. But she's never experienced the... Well... <laughs> pardon me for being dramatic, but the... Drama! <laughs> the, the... The fears! The scares, right? Of the um, entire building burning down. And needing to prevent that in the best way you can which is you know uh detecting gas leak like like it's a dangerous situation but it's kind of like you know how there's like this tiktok of this child picking up a squirrel like let's just grab the squirrel right off the ground it was holding in a death grip i'm like yo man you you might get rabies <laughs> actually i was more afraid of for the squirrel because like children can be pretty scary Having said that, teenagers at that age should have a little more responsibility, but at the same time, you gotta be realistic and parents are still responsible. Well, the one they, they should be the one responsible at least. Take the time to talk to your child. <laughs> uh, that's that's my contribution to this conversation. <laughs> The children! Hmm. <gasps> oh shit, that was what that layer was. That was this line. <laughs> I forgot that line existed. Alright, time to redo it. Hopefully, I was really happy with how I drew that line. And <laughs> Yes, thank you, Layla. Thank you for sharing that sound effect. It was indeed a fail. Anyways, I was really happy with that line. And I hope I can recreate it. Like these two lines that I drew, but... So I have to go back a couple of steps. Ugh, it's not quite the same, but 
you know what that's how art is sometimes it doesn't have to be the exact same just have to fix it up a little bit Save, save, save. Yeah, I'm hitting, I'm hitting save. I'm hitting save. Asriel, thank you so much. Oh, and Mira, Mira, Nya, thank you so much for the sub as well. Holy moly! At the same time as well. Jesus, did you guys? Are you guys doing like some sort of coordinated subbing event or something? Like that was so good. At the same time, I just looked over. Oh. Uh... You gifted five subs. Oh, that's why it all popped up. I see, I see. Thank you so much, Layla. Thank you, thank you, Nyo. I hope everyone likes it, likes the emotes that comes with it. <laughs> thank you so much for all the support to this channel, honestly. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, Leia. Like, I really need to learn how to read chat more. <laughs> the Discord thing. I'm, or not Discord. Um, What is this thing called? Oh yeah, OBS. Yeah, so the OBS thing looks a little different than like the on-screen thing. So <laughs> I just gotta get good. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub, Layla. Thank you so much for the sub. So I'm giving this like really fady shadow to give it like a satiny feel. <gasps> Crappy art. Well, oh. I just accidentally clicked something I'm not supposed to. I hope the stream didn't end. <laughs> Crappy art getting in the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hang on. OBS, please. Please. Don't be weird, OBS. Oh my god, I'm just gonna pull it out. Hang on. Happy art getting in your way. Call Kaisa Solstice at twitch.com. <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Layla. That that's great advertising right there. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> Kaizo soul sus Suslink. Suslink. <laughs> There's a sussy link in the chat. There's a sussy baka in the chat. Think you broke Twitch? Oh shit. <laughs> Layla, what'd you do? How many sussy baka links have you posted? <laughs> alright, alright. It is now 5 o'clock. I gotta go feed my dog, grab myself a snack, and take a break. <laughs> Kaisa and Dot Nya. I wish I could. I wish I could. God damn. But yeah, I'll be right back, everybody. Go grab a snack, drink some water, take a break, and we'll continue on with this art. Look, look how far we've come. Whoa! Look how pretty it is already. I'm so excited to get this going. <gasps> See you guys in five minutes. Bye bye for now. When I go out with my friends, they all have different phones from different brands. I have, I have users. I still have my one friend who has his. I mean, we call him Granddad. Here I am sporting my Pixel. But by the end of the night. I'm literally the walking battery for everybody. They've all had their phones die, or they're about to die, and my battery life is still going strong. Normally, I'm the designated taxi caller, for sure. My name is David, and I have a Google Pixel. Do you want to grow your YouTube channel? Do you want to earn more views, more subscribers, more watch time, and of course, make more money? Well, it might be time for you to upgrade to TubeBuddy Pro, sadly. While a lot of people start YouTube channels, many never reach the success that they dream of. Why? Well, there's so much you want to do on your YouTube channel, but it's very easy to get bogged down in details and not focus on the important parts, making great videos that people want to watch. You might already know about the free version of TubeBuddy. It's packed with more than 30 free tools to make it easier for you to navigate and grow your YouTube channel. But today, I'm talking about TubeBuddy Pro, an upgraded version that includes unlimited access to our mobile app and other great features that help you use our tools so you can take your YouTube channel to the next level. Now you might be wondering, but Andrew, how is an upgraded TubeBuddy license gonna get me more views on YouTube? In order to get more views, you need to understand what factors the YouTube algorithm takes into account when promoting your videos. Things like impressions click-through rate, Let's break that down. To get a good impressions click-through rate, also known as CTR, you'll not only need a highly clickable thumbnail, but you need a good title based around a strong keyword topic as well. On YouTube, it's the topic of the video that interests the viewer to get that first click, and those clicks turn into views. We help you find out whether people are looking for a certain keyword topic, so you don't make a video that no one is searching for, and then don't get any views. With TubeBuddy Pro, you can really dive deep into those keyword-driven topics and titles and find more ways for you to earn more views. Getting views through search is great, and with keyword research, you can expand your audience. Then, if your video delivers on what people are searching for and looks and sounds great, people are more likely to watch your video longer. TubeBuddy Pro can also help you with the creation process. Maybe you need help with music or getting good graphic overlays. We've got your back. TubeBuddy Pro gives you access to our member perks program with benefits like unlimited royalty-free music tracks from Audio Hero. And to improve your graphics, we've given you free access to Nick Nimmin's Tuber Tools package. Speaking of Nick Nimmin, he's one of the fastest growing YouTube help channels and he also uses TubeBuddy. Here's what Nick had to say about TubeBuddy and how it's been able to help him grow on YouTube. TubeBuddy is already helping thousands of creators grow their YouTube channels. They help me grow my channel to over 430,000 subscribers and they can help you too. We here at TubeBuddy have been able to grow our channel to over 400,000 subscribers using these tools to help not only ourselves, but other creators 
creators to help them save time and create better content. As you just heard from me and some of our other TubeBuddy users, TubeBuddy can help you a lot on YouTube. Besides the keyword research options, there are more benefits to TubeBuddy Pro. With TubeBuddy Pro, you can make end screen and card templates, which can quickly and repeatedly refer people to your most popular videos that drive the most subscribers. Templates are just one great way to save time. And with canned responses, you can save even more. Canned responses give you the choice of offering a variety of quick but appreciative responses to your viewers and can help you be more personable and relatable. You can even share your success with our TubeBuddy Milestone custom background templates with TubeBuddy Pro. Just another great way to connect with your current and potential viewers. With TubeBuddy Pro, you can have more tools in your creative arsenal to help you grow on YouTube. So if you're ready to up your creative arsenal of tools, then click on that button there to upgrade to TubeBuddy Pro. With TubeBuddy Pro, you'll be able to find more searchable topics that you can make clickable, helping you get more views, thus driving watch time and earning new subscribers. If you're on the go, you'll be able to keep track of your ideas and successes with the fully unlocked TubeBuddy mobile app with TubeBuddy Pro. Click the link now to learn and earn more views. Thanks. Take it easy. Jorge! It's trivia night! Can't tonight. Have fun. Tickets here! Front row tickets. Great price. I'm good, thanks. Nope. Jorge, hang later? Hey, next time. Hey! Sure you don't want to come? Sure you don't want to stay? When I joined the forces, a fire was kind of lit under me. It's not going to be easy, but it's very rewarding. There is nothing physically that I am unable to do.
Welcome back! Welcome back to more art time with Kaisa! Did you guys miss me? Did you guys miss me? Uh, YouTube ads? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But, um... For the music on the waiting screen, on the lobby screen, the Be Right Back screen... They kind of, uh... I, I can't do anything about that, I'm sorry. It, it's beyond what I can, what I can do. Just extra ads for you guys to look at. Honestly, they should pay me. Like, with the amount of ads that goes on in this stream alone, even though I have already turned off ad, uh, the, or sorry, I've turned off the pre-rolls for advertisement. Um... But yeah, pre roll for advertisement. And, uh. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I turn up the pre roll for advertisement. And. I'm just like playing ad ads when I'm on break. So, yeah, there we are. What is this one? So I'm changing the colors around because I think the inside blue velvety red was better look than what I had before. Skirt away, the hair away. Waist. Oh, and we can see very clearly that there are spots that I missed. So I'm gonna, oops, merge this down. Smaller and kind of zoom in and just take care of all this in the side. I mean, I don't technically need to go that detail into the back, but I like for things to be in one piece because if you have these gaps later on, um, when you're working with the parts, the mesh ends up being weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to do auto mesh at mu as much as I used to because I think meshing by hands create a very beautiful um, turn because mesh is like what warps. Like, like when you warp an object using the rotators or, or sorry, not rotate, the wraps and the... what was that thing called? Deformer? Or something like that. Anyways, when you use those, it is actually the mesh that gets turned, right? So if the mesh is done right, then it looks really good. Oh, also I came back with snacks. Well, actually no, I didn't I didn't came back with snacks. That's a lie. I came back with wool. <laughs> I have my dinner with me. Uh, I fed my doggo. He needs food. He needs sustenance. And he
going around the edges, making sure it's all neat and tidy. I am a little bit nervous about tomorrow, you guys. I don't want to share this with you, but my boy, my doggo, is um, he's a therapy dog in training and he and I make a therapy team. So first off, therapy dog, not service dog. <laughs> There's a difference between the two. Uh, service dogs are in service of the person that they are with whereas a therapy dog is in a therapy uh, therapy dog team and it consists of a handler and the dog and so what happens in a therapy dog team is that when we go out we are invited to facilities um, like some facilities um, expect us and we go and cheer people up basically is what therapy dogs do which is very different from service dogs service dogs are not there to cheer people up they're in service of their handler and that is it so do not pet a service dog therapy dogs sure go ahead therapy dogs love to be pet Uh, with permission, of course. Obviously, you never, ever, ever, ever pet a dog without asking the handler. Just common sense.
Oh shit. That's the wrong color. I was shady with the wrong color. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, it's okay. I can go back in, go back in, go back in. Ugh, put in more work. Put in more work for stuff you should have done. Because you didn't do it right the first time. down there we go i can see it clearly of course i'm going to change the color later in fact i might just turn down the opacity to like 50. yeah This is free for use, I think.
Mm. Here, let me zoom out. <sighs> I'm gonna eat some of my food. Excuse me for the munching noises, guys. Mm. Oh my god, dog hair. All over my food, Jesus. Realme, what are you doing in my bowl? Ah, <sighs> taking a break. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Realme. So yeah, tomorrow we're doing our evaluation. As a therapy dog team. I'm kind of nervous. Now, I don't know which way it'll go.
Doesn't that look so velvety and soft? Despite our dedication to the uh, juiciness of art, we sadly cannot make this juicy. We must make it velvety. So here we go. Make something velvety and juicy. Mmm, that's a thought.
Yeah, welcome back, you know? <laughs> Came back right when I shovel food in my face. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hang on one second. Let me let me finish chewing first. Sorry. Oh my god, I hope you guys can't hear the chewing sound. If you can, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, welcome back, Blue Dragon. Welcome, welcome back, Neil. You like food? I like food too. Except pineapple. I love pineapples. Delicious to me. Actually, I kind of like this style without this. I'm gonna do it without it, without that. <laughs> Fixing up the boo like it's no big deal, you know. And raisins. Okay, I can't agree with you there. The raisin is the devil's fruit. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Like raisins, I kind of like eating them when they're not in cookies. Like the first thing that you that you remind me of when you said raisins is just the cookies. You know what I mean? I don't like them cookies. With the raisins. It's not good cookie. Like, it's just not. Stop. Stop putting raisins in, in, in things, you know? I wonder how raisins got invented. Did someone, like, one day just, like, forgot they, like, had the raisins out one day, like, like, because raisins are like dried grapes, right? Well, did they just like forget that they left the grapes out and then it just fermented <laughs> that way? Or like, did something happen on that day? Anyone offer you an oatmeal cookie? You smack it out of your hand? <laughs> uh, why? Don't waste food. Make them eat it. Make them eat it. Eat it in front of you.
I hear my doggo barking. Hang on one sec, one sec. Be right back. You accept and give it to someone else. <laughs> very, very nice. Very nice. Always never waste food. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Hang on, I hear my doggo barking. Hang on, wait. I take off my headphones. I don't hear him barking anymore. Hang on. Was I just hallucinating? Yeah, let me let me go take a look at my dog first. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Meet the new Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. With macro focus, you can make tiny details epic. Get close-up quality with super res zoom. Easily edit photos with Magic Eraser. It magically erases distractions. Know the language with Live Translate. It works as you read, talk, or type. And you can stay out for up to 72 hours with Extreme Battery Saver. Get the close-up, do magic, know the language with the Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, so it turns out there is a dog barking, but it's not my boy. <laughs> uh, that was a uh, that was a bit of a scare because I had my headphones on all the way on my head. Right now, I have them just like resting around my neck, so I can actually hear stuff going on. But um,
Did you think the booba would not have a good glow? No, we are gonna give the boobas some decent glow here. <laughs> some big acknowledgement of their heftiness. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta <laughs> recognize the <laughs> recognize the velvety textureness. Of the of a good booba, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my god, it is such a different style than what I was doing for my first one. I I don't know how I feel about this. I kind of want to go back to like like this is very glossy looking, but I kind of want to go back to like this style of. Yeah, you know, let me let me try it. Let me try it. I think this I work back better. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Now I believe would be a good time to put on the hat and the legs. <laughs> you know? Time to draw the hat and the legs. 
That, what color did I put my give myself? Let me look for the hat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to just chatting page. Oh, it's red. It's a red hat. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm giving myself a red hat. This part of the hat is going to go behind him here and here. Behind the bangs, not the... In a lot of progress. Yeah, we're slowly coloring all in. Ah! I need to do the neck and the shoulder shading and the sleeves as well. All right, I'll do that next time. For now, I think this is pretty good. Take a look at this. We made this very juicy. We made this very sparkly. This very glossy. And of course, the hair very fluffy and the tail very fluffy as well. I think. There's a bit of dissonance between the way I color, like, my hair and tail, and the way I color the dress. Like, that, there's a big dissonance in the style, but I'm kind of just mismeshing all my different styles together. <laughs> so yeah, that's fun. Well, that's it for today. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank you for all the subs, Layla. You're not here right now, but I'll shout you out anyways. And in fact, we're going to raid her in a second, so stick around for the raid. And thank you, my wonderful mod, Sunny Boy, for being here. Even though you're lurking in the background, it always gives me great comfort to know that there's someone making sure no weirdos pop in. And yeah, thank you all. All the wonderful cookies, Blue Dragon, you're here still. So thank you all for being here. I hope you guys enjoy. I most certainly did. Until next time, bye bye for now. Bye! Meow. Meow.